JC from Craft Life and I'm here today to teach you how to make a Rainbow with 3D mini jack-o'-lantern charm on your monster tail. If you would like to make this on your Rainbow I have a video for it and I'll put a link in the description box below if you'd like to check it out. These jack-o'-lantern charms are the same size as my pumpkin charms, my candy corn charms, and my ghost charms. The supplies you'll need to make this are a monster tail, a rain volume hook or a crochet hook, rubber bands, today I'm using brown, orange, and black. You will need scissors, and if you'd like to make them into earrings like I'm wearing here, you will need earring hooks. And last but not least, you'll need something to stuff these with. Today I'm using polyfill, but if you don't have polyfill, you can use whatever you have or want to use to make them. So please get your supplies and we'll begin. To begin, we're going to start with our red peg closest to us. And we're going to begin by making X's. And we're going to make an X from here to here, and it's going to be doubled. Then we're going to make one from here to here, and it's going to be doubled. So we're going to make that big X, so twist it around your finger. And then you're going to make an X from this peg out and over to this peg. And push it down. And now we're going to make one from here to here, and it's going to be doubled. And then make an X and push it down. So for our next X, it is going to go from here to here. And then we're going to go from here to here. And this X is not going to be doubled. So you don't have to twist it around your finger. And then you're going to push it down. Make another one and push it down. And now for our next X, it is going to be doubled, so we're going to go from here to here, double it, and here to here, and double it. Now we're going to push all of these X's down and I'm just going to show you one more time that we have a big doubled X here, an X that is not going to be doubled, it is just normal, and then we have a doubled X on this end. So now we have two holes here and we need to cover them up with double X's. So we're just going to twist a rubber band around our finger and we're going to make an X from here to here and then one from here to here to cover up those big holes. And now we're going to push all of this down. So now we're going to start the bottom of our mouth. And to do this, we are just going to take a black rubber band. And so I have my red peg on this side. And I'm going to twist this black rubber band around this peg four times. So just twist it around four times. So now you're going to push this down as much as you can and you still want to be able to separate the orange from the black and now we're going to begin our first row so we're just going to go around now we have a bottom row and a top row and on all of our pegs we need to be extremely careful because I'm sure that every peg has a doubled rubber band that we need to bring over. So we're just going to stick our hook in downward on all of our pegs. And from the inside, you may want to just push down with your other finger. Then you're going to bring it over. And now on 
on this peg, the peg that has the black rubber band on it, I'm just going to start by taking over my orange bottom loops. So my bottom orange bring over. And then I'm going to bring over my black loops. So now I'm going to grab all of them and just bring them over. So now on this one, I'm just going to bring my bottom two over to finish it off. So now you're going to push this down. And we're going to begin our second row. So now on this row, we're going to go to this peg like that. And now we need to extend the mouth on both of these bands. So to do that, you're going to grab a black rubber band, twist it on your hook four times. Then you're going to grab an orange rubber band, place it on the top of your hook, and then pinch these loops all over it. Now you can take this off, and what you're going to do is you're going to place this loop on this peg and this loop on this peg. So I'm going to start with this loop, stretch it out over the peg, and then do the other one and stretch it out over the peg. And make sure this row stays up at the top. Do not push it down. And now I'm going to do it one more time to extend it for the other side. And now I'm going to bring this loop to that peg and this loop to that peg. So I'm going to stretch it over the first peg and then stretch it over the second peg so that it sits like that. Now I'm going to go all the way around. Now we have a bottom row and a top row and we're just going to bring our bottom two loops over the top on all of our pegs. So you're going to bring them over. Now you're going to push these down and we've just done two rows together and you are going to need to do these two rows, and for our next two rows, they're just going to be completely orange, no black rubber bands. So for your next two rows, you're going to do, you're going to lay your rubber bands in a counterclockwise rotation. Then you're going to bring your bottom two loops over the top in a clockwise rotation and push them down as you go. And remember, all the rubber bands that you are going to lay are going to be orange. So please do two more rows and I'll be right back. I just did my two more rows of completely orange rubber bands. And now I'm going to start the eye row. And I'm going to make the eyes exactly how I made the corner of the mouth here. So I'm going to start off by just laying one rubber band, one orange rubber band. And then I'm going to place one eye here and one eye here. So I'm going to take a black rubber band, twist it on my hook four times. Then I'm going to grab an orange rubber band. And then I'm going to pinch these loops all off on to the orange rubber band. Now I'm going to take my first loop and I'm going to place it on this peg. And then I'm going to take my second loop and I'm going to place it on that peg. So first I'm going to hold this loop, stretch out the other loop, slide up the eye, and then stretch out my second loop to fit this peg. Now I'm going to take this loop and I'm going to place it on this peg and then I'm going to take this loop and place it on that peg. So I'm going to stretch this loop on to this peg and then this loop onto this peg. And now I'm going to go all the way around again. Now we have a bottom row and a top row, and we're just going to bring our bottom two loops over the top on all of our pegs. So just bring them over the top. Now you're going to push this down. And we are almost finished. You're just going to do 
one more row and this row is going to be completely orange again. So just do what we've been doing and just do one more row and it's going to be completely orange and I'll be right back. I just finished my final row and if you were wondering, this jack-o'-lantern is six rows in total which is also the same size as my 3D mini candy corn, my mini ghost, and my mini pumpkin. And if you would like to make any of these, they are all on my channel. So now we are ready to hook this off. But before we hook it off, we need to go on our red peg and take the bottom loop and switch it to the top and take the top loop and switch it to the bottom. So I'm going to start by taking the top loop and putting it on my finger. Then I'm going to take my bottom loop and put it on my hook. Now I'm going to place the loop that is on my finger down first. Then I'm going to place the loop that is on my hook down next. So now I'm going to take the bottom loop on my red peg and bring it to the peg diagonal from it in a clockwise rotation. And I know it's my bottom loop because it hooked the loop behind it. So now for this one I'm going to stick my hook in, grab the bottom loop, bring it to the peg next to it. I know it's my bottom loop because it hooked the two loops behind it. So I'm just going to continue to do this and you want to make sure that you're checking as you go. So now on my last peg I'm going to stick my hook in, grab an orange rubber band, pull this up through, Place it back on and pull one loop through the other and pull that tight. And now I'm going to need to make a chain, a double chain to sew this up. And this chain is 8 loops long and it takes 16 rubber bands to make. So to make this you're going to take 2 rubber bands, place them on your hook, grab 2 more, Place them at the top of your hook, pull these two through the other two, slide this up, place it back on, and pull these two loops through the other two loops, and pull that tight. Now I'm going to grab two more, place them at the top of my hook, then I'm going to pull these through, slide it up, place it back on, and pull these two loops through the other two loops. So we have just done three loops together and you want to have eight loops in total. So please pause the video, make your chain, and press play when you are ready. And now I'm going to start on my red peg. So I'm going to stick my hook in. Then I'm going to pull up my chain. Up to the second loop on the back. So for the rest of these, you're going to stick your hook up and pull your chain down. And then as you go, you can pop them off. So now we're going to continue to stick our hook up and pull our chain down. Now you can take this out of your monster tail and you don't want to pull on your chains too much yet. Now we are ready to stuff our jack-o'-lantern. So we're just going to take our stuffing and you can decide how much you want to put inside it. You can make it as large as you want, but I would prefer not to overstuff mine. So I wouldn't overstuff yours either. So you're just going to Stick some stuffing in and continue. Now once you think you have enough stuffing in your jack-o'-lantern, you can just pull on your chains like this. And now we're going to tie them together. So now we're going to cut right above where the two rubber bands meet. 
Now you're going to take your hook, you're going to stick it up through wherever these loops are. You're going to place them on your hook and then just pull them right down into your jack-o'-lantern. I'm just going to flick, fix my slip knot because it came undone. If that happens to you, you may want to fix it. And now I'm going to pull these down too. And then pull my slip knot down. Now we are ready to make the stem for our jack-o'-lantern and to make this you can use brown or green rubber bands whichever you want to use and so you're going to begin by taking a rubber band twist it around your hook four times like that then you're going to take another rubber band twist it around the top of your hook two times then you're going to pull this out like that and then you're going to pinch these over. Then you're going to slide this in the middle, slide it up, place it back on so that it looks like this. So now finally we're going to take one more rubber band, place it on our hook, and I'm just going to pull it by the end, but you're going to bring these over and on to that rubber band. Now we're going to place it back on and then pull one loop through the other. So now on our jack-o'-lantern I'm going to stick my hook in from side to side at the top here just like that. Then I'm going to pull that brown loop through And then I'm going to wrap it back around the stem twice. So wrap it around and wrap it around again. So now you can just shape it however you want it to be. And you can attach them to earrings, you can put a slip knot on it and make it a charm, but you can do whatever you want with them. And now you are finished. This is what it looks like when it's done, and this is what they look like when they're on. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you make some, I'd love to see them. My Instagram is CraftLifeUSA, so please tag me in a photo. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, pin it on Pinterest, and subscribe right here on YouTube. I hope you're living a craft life just like me. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!